the silver mark of freedom, his spirit was born. Thara, they named him Thara, like the wind, like the wind that is free. Thara, they named him Thara, to be king of the bush, his destiny. Veils, through the mist and ancient trees Runs the ghost like horse so proudly Silent as the breeze Thara, they named him Thara He's the son of the wind, strong and free Thara, they named him Thara And the king, yes, the king Creatures of the high country look after their own. When Thara found the young foal Urala separated from his mother and quite lost, he took him into his herd and treated him like a son or a younger brother, as did Boon Boon. And the others of the herd accepted him as one of them. Urala admired and loved Thara very much and was keen to learn from him the ways of the high country. So Thara taught the foal how to read the wind, how to listen to the advice of the bush, how to avoid danger, and how to leave no trace. Of course, it's not easy to pick everything up at once. Urala, look behind you. Oh. I'm sorry, Thara. I... Remember, always stay on the snow grass. It's springy and leaves no imprints. But on the other hand, you've learned to move as silently as the breeze. Well done. Oh, thanks, Thara. Now, let's see how much you remember about galloping down rocky slopes. Race you to the stream. Go! <laughs> Beat me, fair and square. Ha! Huh. Come on, Thaura. You gave me a head start. I knew they'd be here. Well, you did, eh? That's where they'll be, you said. And here they are. Oh, how did you know? A good question, but it doesn't matter. They're here. Thaura and the young foal drinking. Look, Thaura and Urella. Thaura and Urella drinking and ready to answer our questions. <laughs> Emus. I wonder what they want. How did you know? didn't even look. But they're upwind, and ascent can be even more important than seeing. Remember? Oh, of course. I forgot. Yoo-hoo! Thara and Urella! Well, Thara will know. He knows everything. He does. And he's teaching so me. So who better to ask? I don't really know everything, Emus, but I'll help if I can. Told you! Oh, you did! See, Thara, I've been thinking. Mew's been thinking and I've been listening. When we were young, I seemed to remember running and that there were others of our kind. Lots of others. But we don't know how we came to be here, in the high country. Or what became of the others. Or whether we're supposed to run a lot. I'm not sure what you want me to help you with. I know a little about your kind. Anyway, you run now. Yes, we do. We do run, but not fast like the wind, like you. Well, and we're supposed to be birds. We don't fly like... Oh, I can't fly. <laughs> <laughs> A flying Thara? Well, I never. What do you think, Mew? Well, ridiculous, absurd, fanciful, unthinkable. A flying horse? <laughs> of course not, Thara. Oh, what do we want? I think this is going to call for a bit of extra wisdom. Urella, why don't you see if you can find Boon Boon and get on with your lessons? Emus and I are going to see if we can find Benny. Benny? Now there's a good idea. A very good idea. Benny and Thara. Now everything will be clear. I'll see you later, Thara. Bye, Emus.
Granddad! Granddad! Charlie! I thought it might be you. How? Heard it on the Bush Telegraph, of course. Ah, good to see you, boy. Well, what brings you to my country? To see you. And Dad wants... Yeah. Well, he'll be after something as usual. G'day. Don. Mm. Come on. Let's get the fire stoked for a cuppa after that journey. I'm after some brumbies. All gone south. Eh? Yeah? Be a few around, buddy. Eh? And I'm going to get them. See, you are fast. Try and go even faster. Come on. If Thara says we're fast, we must be. Well, shall we try and catch him? Let's! Well, you can run all right and fast as well. Maybe it's what you were meant to do. How do you feel? Invigorated. Excited. Elated. Exhausted. Why can't we fly? Fly? Hmm. I've never heard of a flying emu. How about you, Thara? Hmm. No, I, I don't believe so. When I've taken my family down to the plains for the sweet spring grass, I've seen other emus running about. Maybe you're only meant to run, like your relatives down there. Oh, but we want to fly. Yeah, fly like other birds. <laughs> Maybe you could try practising and ask some of the other birds. Oh, that's a good idea. Ask other birds. Well, a very good idea. Shall we? We could. And we could practise flying on the way. Let's. Fly like a bird. Like a bird. Like a bird. Fly, 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 fly like a bird. <laughs> Wish I could come and live with you all the time, Grandad. It's really lovely here. Not bad, is it? Your mum loved it when she was a girl. You've been okay since she passed on? Not really, Grandad. But I'm sort of getting used to it, you know. I miss her sometimes. Like now. I want to share it with her. All this. Reckon you're sharing it with her now, Charlie. Now your mum would be proud of you, loving the things she loved. Yeah, Grandad. I think you're right. You know, sometimes... I feel the high country is talking to me. I, I get this feeling. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. You feel as though it actually touches you. Shouldn't we be giving Dad a hand? If he wants to capture Brumby just so he can make some money, he can build his corrals without my help or yours. <laughs> Look! <laughs> it's like they want to fly like other birds or something. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like to me. <laughs> <laughs> Is the silver brumby really a ghost, Grandad? That's what they say. Seems like one to me. Floats in and out of the mists, seen here, seen there. The trapper's hand, the man a dead horse hunt. All reckon they've seen this ghost horse. Fastest and finest brumby in all our country. Have you seen him? Might have. Will I see him? Might. If I see him, I'll capture him. Make a fortune, eh, with a ghost horse. Right, Charlie? Maybe. Caught ghost horses before, have you, Don? <laughs> Not that I can recall. Have to settle for real ones. Me and Charlie will get a few tomorrow, I reckon. Big demand from now. What with the local rodeo coming up and all? Gotta be pretty smart to capture any high country brumbies. Well, we'll be right then. Won't we, Charlie? But you've got to understand, Jarella, all the creatures of the high country look up to Thara. And right now, the emus uh, need... Ah, they're silly. Oh, don't be unkind. <laughs> well, they are. <laughs> A bit, I suppose. But right now, they need Thara's help and advice. So don't be so selfish. You've had a great deal of Thara to yourself. 
other brumbies. Listen. Very good. You heard them before I did. We'd better get out of here. Why? Can't we talk to them? No. Those horses are shod. Men's horses. And men mean danger. Capture. Come on. <sighs> oh, there's a couple that didn't head south. Oh, that filly's magnificent. And the foal will fetch a pretty penny. They're heading for my trap. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> are down there somewhere. I won't give up till I've got that pair of them. Look, there's one of them. We've almost got it new, haven't we? Oh yes, most definitely almost got it. We definitely left the ground. Didn't you think, Thaura? Thaura? Hmm? Uh, what? Mew flew! If you say so. Well done, Mew. Mopoke, Mopoke, it doesn't matter how much you try. I doubt if you'll ever be able to fly. Oh. Mm. You've got no wings, you silly things. Or aerodynamics or other things. <laughs> <laughs> now, 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 now. If you fly, you might fall. Now you both stand straight and tall. And think how grand it is and what fun to be the biggest of birds and ones who can run. Ooh, the grandest of birds. Oh, the biggest of birds. Not many birds can run, can they? Oh, they can't. They just fly. Anyone can fly. Much grander to run. More unusual. Most unusual. Very special. Who wants to fly? <laughs> Something's wrong. I have to go. A race. Let's go. We can beat Thaura. <laughs> We're faster than Thaura. Hey, Muse, look out. <laughs> Got it now, Charlie. She's tiring. I think. No bones broken that I'm aware of. That's my foot. I think it's my foot. Uh, no, I'm wrong. No, it is your foot. Thaura. Sorry, Emus. I have to go. Uh, hey! What about us? Well, he might have helped. Not a very good friend. Well, perhaps he has other things to do. Perhaps he does. Well, is this your neck or my neck? Boom, boom! Boom, boom! 
What's that? Shod hooves. Men. Burn, burn! He left us in quite a hurry, didn't he, Mew? Mm, quite a hurry indeed. A great hurry, in fact. Like a lightning bolt indeed, yes. <gasps> but it's all my fault that Burn Burn got captured by the men. She did it to save me. And now I can't find the herd and I can't find Thaura and... There, there, there. I'm sure Thaura will... Oh, speak of the devil. Yurella, what happened? Where's Burn Burn? It's all my fault. And I couldn't find you. And I was scared. And now you're going to get angry with me for getting Burn Burn caught. I'm not angry with you and it, it's not your fault. I just need to know where she is. They were heading towards the plains below the high country. Good. Now you see if you can find the herd and stay safe. Let's hope they've left some heavy tracks. I've got to go after Boon Boon and rescue her. <laughs> there goes Thara. Well, fast as lightning. Able to leap tall mountains with a single bound. <gasps> Will you help me find the herd? I don't know where to look. And Thara will be gone sometime if he's got to go down to the plains. He's gone to the plains. Ooh, Benny says other emus are on the plains. Now I probably need our help. Ooh, probably need some birds who can run fast. Probably. Thara, wait for us. Ooh, you really need us, you do. Sounds like the boss's daughter. I wonder what she's up to. Mopoke, am I glad to see you? Oh, to be glad, to be glad. Tis such a state of bliss compared to being sad. Boom Boon's been captured by men. Have they passed this way? Captured? Ooh, that's a shock, of course. But I've seen no sign of that poor horse. And I've lost their tracks on rocky ground. Perhaps you can help. If Boon Boon is in need of help, it's enough to make any heart melt. Perhaps you could do an aerial scout. See if you can see any sign of tracks. You know you can count on me. I'll get airborne and see what I can see. Good on you, Mopoke. <laughs> Let's see now. Boom, boom. I'm sure it was her. Now where? Ha, ha. What's this? Hmm. What's that old windbag up to? He's usually snoring his head off this time of day. Not a sign. Not a sign. I do hope this isn't a waste of time. Hmm. Seems to be looking for something. <laughs> Perhaps he'll find more than he was bargaining for. <laughs> Time for some fun. <laughs> Lots of stones and blades of grass, but finding track is a bit of a farce. <laughs> Teach you, you old mud scrubber. <laughs> Phew, a soft landing. My luck was in. Way to end a flight. I feel just like a crumpled kite. Oh, 
but all is not lost, of course. I seem to have discovered the track of a horse. <sighs> You'll find Boom Boom's tracks over that rise. And you have my word, Thara, I tell no lies. Thanks, Mopoke. You're a real pal. I don't know where we'd be without you. I hope you can rescue our dear friend soon. I fear for the fate of poor Boon Boon. We've come to help rescue Boon Boon. Mm, we're very fast, you know. Very fast indeed, and we could take messages to her. Well, from you to her, so you wouldn't be seen and captured too. Not captured, that's right. This is very kind of you, Emus, but I think it might be better if I go alone. Oh, no. If we go, there'll be three heads. Uh, and eight legs, and we could... Didn't Benny say your relatives might live on the plains? He did. They do. They might. Oh, we should go and find them. Talk to them. Question them. What a clever idea. Uh, it's a clever idea. Uh, didn't we think of it before? I don't think so. Uh, I don't think so either. Sorry, Thara. We won't be able to help rescue Boom Boom. Oh, we have our relatives to visit. Uh, bye! <laughs> Something. Come on. I can't let you go. <laughs> what? What is it? <laughs> the silver brumby! Boon Boon! Not only had Boon Boon been caught by man, she had also been taken a long way from her beloved high country. Thara had been quick to respond to his best friend's plight, but saving Boon Boon was not going to be a simple task. After Thara and Boon Boon had helped save the man, he and his prize bull headed south from the mountains. Thara and Boon Boon stayed on the ram's head to enjoy a few more moments alone before rejoining their own herd. It looks so soft and gentle, doesn't it? And beautiful. It does, but looks can be deceiving. It's just hiding its show of might and cruelty from when we least expect it. We really should get back. We should. It's the fall's first winter, and I wonder what they'll make of it. The snow's already midwinter deep. If it's peaceful now, we'd best make the most of it. <laughs> Beat you! Yeah, but 
that's only because you got a jump on me at the start. Shouldn't we keep close to the herd, Urella? We're not far away. Don't worry, I know where we are. Thara's taught me all the landmarks. Hmm. Okay. There's some great gullies over there. Want to see what they're like with snow? Yeah! Someone's enjoying themselves. Sounds like it. Bralga, spying out in this weather with a cold. <laughs> hey, what are you two so happy about? Miserable little mischief makers. Oh, I hope you can. Just scream. <laughs> Listen, everybody. The weather is worsening in the high country. We're going to move to the foothills to make sure we have good pastures for the long winter months. Follow me. be back home, but I'd forgotten how cold the high country can be in winter. Oh, yeah, and the Brogas accidentally left us behind. Do you know the way to the foothills? Do I know? <laughs> You've come to the right place, girls. I could find my way down there blindfolded. No worries. Oh, my ears are so cold they could snap off. How about showing us the way? Yeah. <laughs> oh, good thinking, girls. Okay, follow me. Phew, stop just in the nick of time. <laughs> I'm not so sure. What we have here is one big ice slide. Looks as though it could be fun. Are you game? I don't know. I think we ought to be getting back. And that looks... Come on, Narrabri. We've had fun so far, haven't we? Well, yes, but... Tell you what, we'll just do this last game and then we'll head back, all right? Well, all right. Great! Whee! <laughs> that was amazing! Come on, Narrabri! Watch out below, here I come. Whee! Not that way! Yo! Oh. Ouch! Are you all right? Oh, I don't know. My leg hurts. Do you think you can put any weight on it? Oh, uh, I think I'll be all right. Mm, you better stay here and rest while I go for help. Go for help? Haven't you ever heard of the old saying, look before you leap? Uh, yes, why? Take a look around. Huh? There must be a way out the other end. I certainly hope so. <laughs> be careful, Urella. Don't you slip too. I'll be all right. You just look after yourself. 
What have I gotten us into? Come on, that's enough. It's time to take shelter for the winter. Your brother's back home waiting for you. Oh, Mum! No arguments. Now. You must have great parents letting you play all the time, not like my mum. Bindi! See you in spring, Wombat. Yeah, see ya. Bye. Hey, you! Hey? What are you doing out? We're supposed to be hibernating. We all tucked ourselves up soundly in our burrow, ready to sleep till next spring, and you snuck out. Oh, but, Father, it isn't really winter yet. It's winter when I say it's winter. Now, are you coming or do I have to go out and get you? Oh, but that... Right, here I come. <laughs> That snow is slippery and... is too steep. Oh, yeah? We'll soon see about that. <laughs> see what I mean? It's hopeless. Maybe when the sun comes out, it might melt and I can climb the rocks. If the sun comes out before we freeze. Don't worry, Narrabri. At the very least, Thaura will find us. He'll get us out. If we're still alive. Anyone hear me? Help! Help someone! Help! 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 Boom Boom, did you hear that? It sounded like Baby Wombat. Whatever is the matter, Baby Wombat? My father, he's... and the ice cracked and... It's all my fault. Well, I gather from that that something's happened to old Wombat at the frozen pond. Boon Boon, can you follow with Baby Wombat while I dash ahead? Go, quick. Wombat. Getting cold feet? <laughs> I wouldn't worry if I were you. Just stay there till next summer and you... <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> freezing! It's freezing! <laughs> nice day for it, Currawong. <laughs> I wouldn't worry if I were you. Just stay there till next summer. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, I don't have to stay here till next summer. Unlike you, you sour old grump. Hill! <laughs> 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 I'm going down, help! Hey? Oi! 
what's going on. Put me down! Put me down, you great blithering brumby! Oh, typical, typical. <laughs> You'll be right, Wombat. At least you're safe now. Are you okay, Wombat? Yeah, you okay, Dad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scale, such an attempt would surely fail. It's just that we're very cold, and Narrabri's legs hurt, and we're... I'll get airborne when the storm clears. Such a promise should dispel your fears. Thanks, Mopoke. You're a real friend. Fresh grass, not buried by snow. Ah, uh, now, just a minute. <laughs> I know the high country like the back of my hoof. There's not a stream or rocky crag, I don't know. Yeah? Then what's that up ahead? Why, the ram's head, of course. The ram's head? Oh, we're right back where we started, Arrow. Yeah, you've been leading us in circles. Uh. <laughs> to get back to the protection of the secret valley. Yes. It isn't blowing nearly as hard here. <sighs> but it's still cold. Let's find some shelter. Hey, Urella. The blizzard's over. Wake up. It has, but I'm as stiff as a post. Sleeping on ice isn't my idea of fun. Mopoke, Mopoke, wake up. Eh? Eh? What? What? Ah, do I spy a ray of sun? Life's sure to be much more fun. Mopoke, can you find Sarah now? He may be able to help. The air is clear, so I will go and tell Sarah what I know. Thanks, Mopoke, and hurry. Broker. Oh, fancy you being in the foothills. It's winter. Where else would I be? Where else? Oh, indeed. Oh, where else is where Brave Arrow is with two fillies? Two fillies? There are two fillies missing from my herd. Where is he? Somewhere? Or, in his case, nowhere. Not quite nowhere, Mew. He's found out where he is. What are you talking about? Where is he? Lost? Oh, indubitably, eh? That's where he is. Lost somewhere near the ram's head, with two fillies. The ram's head? <laughs> good luck, mighty brother. Yep, good luck. Thara, I've seen no sign of Narabri or Urella. Have you seen them? No. I hope nothing happened to them in that blizzard. I'm worried. Mopoke, 
so you should be, for they are trapped and cold. But I'll show you where, as I've been told. After you, Mopoke. Now that the storm's over, surely you can lead us to the foothills, Arrow? Well, uh, everything looks so white when it's covered with snow. Everything looks the same. Move south of the ram's head, then turn left at the creek. <laughs> Thanks, Thara. Ooh, ooh, which way, left or right? I'm becoming as confused as a wind-blown kite. Mopoke, what's going on? Oh, everything looks the same under this snow. It's hard to see which way to go. to drive you from the high country forever. Prepare to fight, or run if you prefer. <sighs> I have no time for either. Urala and Narrabri are trapped in a frozen canyon. We must put aside our personal differences so the falls can be saved. Ah, you always have some excuse, Thaura. How do I know you're not lying? Whatever your opinion of me, Brolga, you must know that I have a reputation for keeping my word. Uh, very well but only because I have a rescue mission of my own. That dimwit arrow has got himself lost, along with two fillies from my herd. The fillies are safe, Brolga. I sent them in the right direction, back to your herd. Very well, Thara. For that, I thank you. You may proceed unhindered. Just this once. <laughs> How do you like that? Those fillies take off and leave me all alone in an iced up wilderness. No one to care for and no one to care for me. It's all right for Thaura, he's got Boon Boon to look after him. It's so unfair. Huh? Sounds like the foals. Can anyone hear us? Help! What do you reckon became of Mopo, Kirella? Who knows? Maybe he got lost as well. Thaura! Help! What do you mean, Thaura? Huh? Tis I, Brave Arrow, who has come to rescue you. Thaura's off wandering in circles somewhere. Lost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks for coming, Arrow. We're stuck at the bottom of this ice floe. Yeah. What ideas do you have for getting us back up? Well, I... Let's see now. It shouldn't be too difficult. I... Uh... Perhaps you should go and get Thaura, Arrow. He may be able to help. Huh? Thaura? I'm the one that's come to rescue you, not Thaura. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah! <laughs> Remember, it's all quite clear. The trap folds are up there, well to your rear. <laughs> Thanks, Mopoke. About time. <laughs> Hooray! Good on you, Arrow. You found the way out. Huh? I did? Oh, I, I mean, I did! Ah, oh, Thaura, late as usual. <laughs> I saved the foals. Yep. Arrow did it, Thaura. He found the way out. <laughs> Congratulations, Arrow. Well, the important thing is, everybody's safe. Hmm. When Arrow's a hero, I'm not so sure. It seems not to blend with nature's law. 
<laughs> but the important thing was, as Thara said, that everyone was safe. It had already been a winter crowded with incidents and rescues. And winter was only a few days old. But this winter was going to bring on far worse. It was going to lead to a most unexpected encounter. 